Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite dorm hacks that I use. Just some tips and tricks for decorating your dorm room because if there's one thing I pride myself in, it is my freshman year dorm room. Not really, but I just really love that room with like my whole heart. And there are just a bunch of really inexpensive and easy things that you can do to your dorm room to make it feel more like home or make it feel more comfortable and cozy. You guys should count how many times I say the words comfortable and cozy. But if you have not already watched my video where I talk about what to pack for your dorm room, definitely watch that one first because you can't decorate if you don't know what to pack first. So... I got you. Go watch that first. Also, make sure you subscribe because I am making tons of these college and dorm type videos and we are almost to 25,000, which is insane and I am so, so thankful. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 25,000 and this giveaway is going to help one of you guys decorate your dorm room, which I'm so excited about. So, let's get into some of my dorm room decorating hacks. All right, my first hack when decorating your dorm room is to kill two birds with one stone and by that that, I mean whatever you are going to store put it in a cute container so that it doubles as a decoration which might seem obvious but I put everything in super cute baskets and when people walked in they were like you have so many decorations this is so cute but really I was just storing my notebooks and my food and everything that I needed in cute baskets I actually have an example like this this has really random stuff books notebooks everything random but it's in a really cute basket so no one would really ever think anything of it if you watch my dorm tour video i also had another cute white basket that had food in it but i stuck little fake sunflowers in it to make it look really cute and decorative but really it was just like protein bars inside of it so yeah that's a tip use cute decorative baskets because that can make a huge difference i also was kind of given an advantage with decorating my dorm room because my room had one wall that was just one long shelf which gave me a bunch of space to store and decorate so i mean i know not everyone's going to have that type of space available but if you do have shelves to fill up definitely use baskets because they also eliminate clutter and yeah my second decorating tip hack whatever you want to call it is to hang up ring lights not ring lights that's what i'm filming with string lights i think i have some honestly in here i know i have them oh i do i wasn't expecting to have examples but i really haven't completely unpacked my dorm room so i do they're a mess right now but just cute little string lights i know they seem really basic and like a given but they transform your dorm room into like artsy tumblr visco vibes and i'm always here for that because one of my favorite things was turning off my lights at night and then having my twinkle light still on and it was just so cozy please keep track of how many times I stay cozy like I said another hack I have that is such a game changer is to cover ugly furniture up with cute throw blankets because I had this really ugly desk chair in my room I took a cute light like blush pink throw blanket and I just draped it over the chair and it made it look way cuter than it actually was so if you have any pieces of ugly furniture that you can't get rid of because the school provided it and you probably can't definitely cover it with throw blankets because again that's so easy to do and it really does make a difference in how the room looks so Throw blankets will be your best friend. Also, going along with throw blankets, decorative pillows will also be like the biggest game changer in your room. If you guys watched my college videos, you probably saw that I had a lot of decorative pillows on my bed. Um, I'm pretty sure one of the school newspapers even like roasted my bed because I had so many. I had like four, but really it was just kind of excessive. So I wouldn't recommend going overboard with the pillows because I'm someone that likes to make my bed every morning and that was just a hassle. So little tip, don't go overboard on that. But I just had really cute like they're still in my bed because I love them. They just make the room look so cute. It is just like my favorite look to have a white bedspread with a bunch of cute different pillows. I'm probably going to do that again in my dorm room this year. Still haven't decided. Stay tuned on that. But yeah, you don't need like four or five like I did. I'd say two or three is a perfect number. But you know what? The pillow police is not going to come after you. So you do you and express yourself in your pillows because that is, that's the move. Going along with bedding. Again, like I said, throw blankets are so cute on dorm beds because they make it look so much more comfortable. But I had a really cute yellow throw blanket on my bed and it just made the room look a lot brighter That's another hack just like yellow in general is just such a happy color I had this yellow pillow on my bed and a yellow blanket and then the sunflowers and it was all subtle But it just made the room feel way happier So yellow will be your best friend, but don't overdo it But like I was saying for bedding get a duvet cover not a comforter I'm gonna have to have my mom check and make sure I got my bedding vocabulary correct I hope i'm getting the words right but get a duvet cover that is the one that's just the outer 
lining i'm just gonna have to insert a photo but it's the one that's like the thinner sheet that you put around the comforter it's a decorative one but if you have a really thick comforter then it is going to be so hard to do laundry that's what i had and it was just so inconvenient because my comforter wouldn't even fit in our laundry machines at school so whenever i went home i had to bring my comforter with me home to wash here and not everyone is able to do that so if you have a duvet cover that's the super thin one that you put around a comforter and it will make laundry so much easier so do that save yourself another hack i have is i don't even know if these are hacks i feel like i'm just saying obvious stuff but another tip or hack i have is to rearrange the dorm room furniture when you move in because when we moved in there was just like two dressers sticking out against the wall and it just took up so much space so talk with your roommate and figure out how you can rearrange the furniture best because when you move in you're probably going to have two dressers two desks and two beds that's pretty typical dorm room furniture there is going to be a lot of furniture in one small room so you need to figure out how you can rearrange the furniture best so that you get the most possible room as you can guess dorm rooms are very small so if you are able to move furniture to give yourself some more space you will thank yourself however you can do that even if it's just moving a desk moving a dresser my roommate took one for the team we put a dresser inside of her closet and we put the other one up against the wall and it freed up so much space going along with that I know a lot of dorm rooms you were able to loft your bed so that you can put your desk underneath. I think that's amazing because that saves so much room. Our dorm room, we weren't able to lift the beds because I don't think the ceilings were high enough, but definitely lift your bed if you are able to do so. I know a bunk bed probably seems annoying, but... If you put your desk and dresser and everything underneath your bed, you will have so much more space. And again, that's probably obvious. And if you're able to lift your bed, you'll probably do that. But I didn't have that option. So I'm jealous if you do. Another tip. This isn't a tip. This is a necessity. And this is something that I did not have in my dorm room. And I wish I did. Get a comfortable chair in your room for visitors. Because you want to make your dorm room comfortable for you and your roommate. But also for friends that come in. And my poor friend Brooke came in and she would always just sit on the floor against the dresser and I told myself that we didn't have room for a beanbag or a chair in our room but we could have made room make room for a chair but the ultimate power move you could do is to get a chair that also stores stuff I think it's called an ottoman I really should have worked on my furniture vocabulary before this I'm gonna insert a photo but if you have a chair that can store stuff then you can put blankets jackets whatever you want in there and then again killing two birds with one stone you have a comfortable chair for your guests and you're storing stuff so that's what I wish I did this one one's kind of random but don't bring a lot of random decorations because you're not trying to win some like pottery barn teen award in your dorm room you're really just trying to make it feel more like home because again that's where you're living for a year you want to make it yours and you want to make it comfortable but with all that being said don't over decorate because that's just going to cause a lot of clutter if you have a lot of decorations and not too much storage space that just goes with my basket things like if you want to decorate make sure it can store stuff too not everything has to be like a storage device you really don't need to bring that much stuff but i just accumulated a lot of stuff over the year so yeah if you bring a lot then it's just going to get extra cluttered don't overpack that's a hack don't overpack because i I brought so many clothes and in the back of my head I was like oh my gosh I could wear this dress if I do that and I could wear this if I go there don't overpack because you can always go home on breaks and bring clothes back if you need them whatever you think you need bring that and don't bring too much extra because again it is a tiny space that you are living in and you do not want to feel overwhelmed because a cluttered room is a cluttered mind my dad taught me that thanks dad as I'm looking at my cluttered room. I'll clean that after. But yeah, for decorating, I just kind of, I didn't really have a plan set in mind. I didn't have a Pinterest board or anything. If you watch my dorm shopping vlog, that was like the first time I thought about how I was going to do my room. And I just got a bunch of cute random stuff from like Hobby Lobby, Target, and Home Goods. Those are my three stores. Those will be your best friends. Like I genuinely wish that I was working with one of those stores because I owe my life to them, but it's okay. Maybe one day. But I'm actually going to get the decorations that I had they're literally right back there if you haven't seen my dorm room then I'm going to show you them these are just some decorating ideas because we are talking about decorating dorm rooms here you guys are all going to be like certified interior 
dorm room designers after this. Um, you all passed my test. Letter boards are the cutest thing ever. Mine happens to say subscribe hee hee, so like if you want to do that, you can. I think these are so cute because, I don't know, wherever I see a letter board, I just think it looks so cute. This is a huge one. Greenery. My roommate and I had fake greenery in our room and we got so many compliments. It just really changes the room. I can't even explain it, but fake succulents, fake flowers, sunflowers in particular, because like I said, yellow, game changer, but I don't know. Fake greenery, I think is so cute in dorm rooms like look that is so cute this should be my thumbnail except i already made my thumbnail i just really like the greenery look and then also this salt lamp again it's random but it was so cute in my room and i just everything that i got somehow flowed together so well and i think it's probably because i didn't like plan it too well and it was just what i really liked in the moment and yeah salt lamps i know they're good for like vibes and all that and there's like research behind them honestly i licked my salt lamps a lot which is really weird i don't think you're supposed to do that but they're cute and you can lick them i probably am really weird for doing that oh my gosh my shelves look so bare with all without all of this i have to put it back <laughs> Another tip I have is to order all of your dorm necessities, like your mattress topper, your bedding, your bins, all of that I would say order ahead of time to pick up at the store location that's next to your school. Because unless you're going to college close to home where you can just pack everything in your car and drive there, it's going to be really hard to bring everything with you. So if you are flying to school or going far away, if you order everything you need ahead of time and pick it up at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or wherever you do it at the store location next to your school, you will save yourself just so much hassle because if you wait until the last second to get everything that you need everyone else at your school is going to be doing the same exact thing and Target is going to be overpacked um, another hack that's not really dorm room decorating related it's just dorm life hack in general definitely get a phone wallet before you move in trust me you will need it because most places you need your student ID card to swipe into a building and it is so inconvenient to always be having to go through your backpack or find your wallet to get that card I don't have a phone wallet on me right now because it's summer and I wanted to use this time to have a cute phone case but I had it all of freshman year it saved my life and also tie your key around a hair tie and wrap that around your wrist because when you're out and about you are not going to want to lose or misplace your key so if you have it on a hair tie you'll never lose that people in your dorm will probably know how to do that but definitely attach your room key to a hairband another decorating tip I have that just again changes the whole vibe of your room is to get a rug for your room which again sounds obvious but the carpet in my dorm building was like this bluish greenish brownish color if you've seen that carpet you know that I just like explained it perfectly but there was no way that I was going to go through the year with that ugly carpet color so we got a really cute white and gray rug to cover it up and it made such a difference it made the room feel so much brighter because it was white getting a rug might seem like an obvious thing to do but people that walked into our room that didn't have rugs they always complimented it and they always said that it made a difference so definitely get a rug something else I want to talk about which I actually want to make a whole entire video on is keep healthy snacks inside your dorm room because you're probably going Going to get hungry especially late at night because in college if you want food you probably are going to have to walk to the closest cafeteria walk to the closest market wherever you get your food and sometimes that can be a little bit inconvenient bottom line is you're gonna get hungry so keep snacks inside your room but keep healthy ones because if you're like me and do you have unhealthy stuff in your site you're probably going to eat it I'm not saying you have to be some like health and fitness guru in college but just try to surround yourself with healthier options in your dorm room i want to do an entire video on eating healthy in college let me know if that's something you'd be interested in but i think that's all i have for this video thank you guys so much for watching i truly love making these types of videos and i think they are super fun to watch so let me know what other types of these videos you guys want to see and i will definitely make them but again thank you guys so much for almost twenty five thousand. i am so so thankful it was like this this time last year when I started to make these college type videos and I had like 300 subscribers so just having you all to follow along my college experiences has been so neat and I really want to give away something to you guys to help you decorate your dorm room when I do hit 25,000 so if you would like to win a $25 home goods gift card and a $25 Target gift card because those are the main places that I shopped at for my dorm room all you have to do is be following me on Instagram be 
subscribe to this YouTube channel, and then just leave any comment down below. You can say where you are going to college next year, you can say what you're excited about, what you're nervous about, any questions you might have, any comment will do, but those are the three things you want to do if you want to win the $25 home goods gift card and $25 Target gift card. So that is what you can do to win that. Thank you guys again so much for watching and for subscribing. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will see you in the next video.